In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry of Cl2. This is chlorine gas. So the first thing we need to do to figure out a molecular geometry is really look at the Lewis structure. So here's the Lewis structure for Cl2. And you can see we have this bond here. So there's a pair of electrons that are shared between each chlorine atom. That's what creates the bond. Then we have these lone pair electrons on the outside. Because we only have two things, there's really only one geometry that we can have for Cl2. And that's this straight line going through means it's linear. For the linear molecular geometry, the angle between these two would be 180 degrees. But let's take a closer look at the shape for chlorine gas. So if we imagine that this is a chlorine atom, we have this one chlorine atom here, and we're going to add another chlorine atom to it. So this would be our other chlorine atom. So you can see if you have these two chlorine atoms, there's really only one way we can have them. They can just be in a straight line. No matter how you orient this, you could draw a straight line through it. So that's what makes this a linear molecule. Back to our Lewis structure, we again note that this is linear and that it has a bond angle of 180 degrees. When we have more than two atoms, it gets a little more complicated. A table like this that looks at steric number, that can be very helpful. There's a link in the description to a video on how to do that. But to recap, we have our two atoms, so this is going to be linear. We'll have a bond angle of 180 degrees. And the electron geometry, that'll also be linear. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for Cl2, chlorine gas. Thanks for watching.